Hey guys, it's Bryant with I Have Comic Issues, and today I'm going to uh, show you a little haul that I, uh, or some comic books that I collected over the last uh, week. Uh, these were books that I got from a local uh, auction, uh, some books that I got from an antique shop, and some, a book that I got on eBay, and another one that I got on Whatnot. Um, so I hope you enjoy them. Uh, please let me know what you think of them. Please take a moment to uh, like this video, uh, comment, and if you haven't already, please subscribe. I'd be uh, very thankful for that. Um, the first ones I'm going to show you are the ones that I uh, got from a local au auction um, here in my area. Um, I think I got 19 comic books uh, in that auction and I think I spent $27 um, and it was a mix of books uh, from um, Silver Age up into uh, some of the uh, Bronze and uh, Bronze Age and that in, uh, in the mid 80s. Uh, and the first book in that uh, collection, or not collection, but just that uh, auction lot that I got is this one right here which is Strange Tales, issue number 129. It is in a very, it's not very good condition, but it is a copy of Strange Tales, issue 129, so that's pretty cool. All right. And along with that, I also, it's a nice uh, 12 cent uh, Marvel book there. And I also got another 12 center, which is Strange Tale, Tales, issue number Oops, uh, Strange Tales, issue number 132, right there. And then I also got a 15 cent uh, Captain America book, and it's Captain America issue number 120. It does have some writing on the book right here that's covering up the uh, uh, number, so it's a little hard to read. Uh, and it does have an extra staple uh, right there whoever owned that decided to be good to put that there for some reason. But I did count the pages and they're all there. So that's Captain America issue number 120, 15 cent book, very cool. Uh, so I was really happy with this uh, online auction. It was an online local auction. So I was very happy with that. So make sure you check that out in your area. See if any of your uh, cities have any uh, auctions that you can uh, take place on or participate uh, online with and who knows what you might find um, in that same lot i've got a copy of x-men alpha flight issue number one very nice i think i've got a couple of these but i always liked this book it was one that i was very fond of when i was a kid so I think X-Men and Alpha Flight are my two favorite Marvel uh, superhero teams. And then I also got a uh, copy of X-Men and the Micronauts, issue number one, right there. And I also got issue number two, right there. So, and these are both newsstand copies, so very happy with that. Uh, this one, I don't know much about it, or I don't know anything about it. So it's, I uh, think, a three-issue limited series. If y'all know anything about it, please let me know. But Marvel Superhero Contest of Champions, issue number one in the newsstand. So we got that one. And these are in pretty good condition. You got issue number two right there. And then I got issue number three right there, but this one is not in very good condition right here. It looks like there's some water damage um, and it got stuck to another book and it's the same on the back of the book. I don't know if you can see it right there. Yeah. So, but that's a Marvel superheroes contest of champions. Very cool. Uh, please let me know. Uh, if any of y'all know anything about that, please let me know something about it. 
Uh, here's the part that is really cool for this collection, I think. Um, I picked up uh, Marvel Super Heroes Secret Wars, the original one. And I, in my collection, I already had issues seven, eight, and number 11. So those were the ones that I already had. And someday I was like, oh, it'd be really cool to fill that out. Well, in this uh, comic book uh, or auction lot, I was able to do that. I got issue number one right there. Very nice. And then issue number two in the newsstand. Very happy with that. Issue number three, another newsstand copy. Issue number four in the newsstand. Issue number five, right there. Very nice. We got issue number six, right there in the newsstand. Let me take these down. I'm not gonna have room for any more. Then I got issue number seven in the newsstand. And I already had issue number eight. I picked that up a year or so ago. It's just a it's a direct edition, but so I already had that for the run. Um, this one is going to be just a filler copy. It's issue number nine, but it it's had some water damage right here and another book stuck to it. So it's got a lot of damage there. But like I said, it's a reader copy uh, place filler until I can get, find another one. Then I got issue number 10, which, uh, which has this really doom, cool Doom cover. It is a newsstand. I can feel some rippling here so um, it probably does have some water damage it's not actually visible water damage but you can just feel the ripple of it I'm going to take that to my uh, presser and see if that's something that can be uh, fixed I don't know uh, he's much more experienced at that than I am um, and that's uh, Lost Account Comics uh, he's my uh, presser and cleaner and then I also got issue number 12 right there so very happy with that whole lot um, for that auction lot it was 19 books and I think I paid $27 so it comes out to around 83 cents a book so very happy with all those that I got in that uh, little auction lot and when I went to go pick those up from the auction house down the road was a antique store that I've uh, seen them advertise on Facebook Marketplace and they had a lot of uh, cool books uh, there, a lot of old ones, a lot of uh, silver and uh, bronze age and modern books. Very good. I will be going back uh, to that shop whenever I get the opportunity. But I did pick up a couple there. I spent another $27 there and these were the books that I picked up. I picked up the 1988 uh, facsimile edition of Action Comics number one, the 50th uh, anniversary reprint. So I thought that was pretty cool. Um, then I picked up Secret War issue number four. A very cool cover with Black Widow on it. So I think that's really sharp. And I also got uh, Secret War issue number five with Daredevil. I don't know who the artist is on these books, uh, but it is a bend. Uh, it was like a, a Gabrielle Del Auto uh, cover for these two. So really cool. So, and I also picked up Superman number one right there in the newsstand um i tried to look this up on cover price but because it's the newsstand version 
there's not any recent sales data or anything like that. Uh, so I think it's maybe an eight dollar book. Uh, if anybody knows better, uh, please uh, let me know. It is in very good condition. Yeah, so, but if anybody has some insight on that, please let me know. And I also got Batman and Robin issue number one. Saw this. I think it was like two dollars and fifty cents. Uh, so thought it'd be pretty good. And apparently, it's the first appearance of Professor Pig. But it's in very nice condition, or possibly uh, near mint or something like that. But very nice, right there. And then, I don't know much about this, but I just thought it had a cool cover. But Ultimatum, issue number one, right there. And it just cost me a buck. So, just thought it was a nice or a cool cover to get. So, these are the books that I got at the uh, uh, antique store, right down the street from the antique, uh, or from the auction hall. And combined, all these, I think, cost me $54. So. And the next thing I'm going to show you um, is a whatnot purchase that I uh, picked up from Bronzeville Comics uh, that I uh, purchased from him uh, last Monday. And I got here this weekend, so I want to open it up for y'all. And the book that I got from Jim from Bronzeville Comics is Marvel Comics Presents Weapon X issue number 80. A um, couple of months ago, I had purchased the, uh, I made a purchase and I got all of the Weapon X uh, Marvel Comics Presents other than two. And the two that was missing was 79 and 80. So I've got 80 right here which is a very nice copy there. Thank you, Jim, uh, from Bronzeville Comics. Uh, check him out on his YouTube channel, uh, Bronzeville underscore comics. And also check him out on Whatnot. He make, does sales every Monday night. So please check that out. Um, and I was uh, fortunate over this weekend. I did uh, go on Whatnot again. And I made enough was able to find uh, marvel comics present issue number 79 and i was able to purchase that so this week i will be getting the last book that i need for the weapon x run of marvel comics presents so very excited about that and then uh, a couple of months ago i did some purchasing at a antique shop and i picked up a, a, this book uh, not this particular one, but I had picked up a copy of this book before. And since then, I, or when I made that purchase, or after I made that purchase, I used that book in a trade so I could get New Mutants uh, number 87, uh, Uncanny X Men 129, and one other book, or uh, 125, I believe. I, I'll try to find the video uh, that I talked about all that and put it up here in the corner so you can see that. Uh, but over the weekend, or last week I made the, found the auction on eBay and I was able to pick up Amazing Spider-Man issue 316, the first cover appearance of Venom in the newsstand copy. Uh, so I picked that up, very happy about that. Uh, very nice looking copy there. I will get this one cleaned and pressed. Uh, I believe it will get in the mid nines. Uh, it'd be great if it got a nine eight, but that's probably not going to happen. But I will be sending this off to get cleaned and pressed and then uh, slabbed uh, and graded. But it looks very cool. No color breaking spine ticks that I can see. Um, does have some uh, in or dents on the front, but I believe a 
a press could take care of that. But yeah, right there, Spider-Man issue number 316, first cover appearance, uh, first full cover appearance of Venom. Uh, so very happy about that. So those are the books that I uh, picked up last week. Uh, very happy with all that. Uh, please let me know what you uh, thought. Uh, please uh, like, comment, uh, subscribe. Um, check me out on Instagram uh, under I, I Have Comic Issues. Um, yeah, and like I said, check out, uh, do some research, see if your town or any of the nearby towns have uh, auction sites or auction places that, and see if they got any comic book lots that are coming up. And you never know what you might find. Uh, I found uh, Amazing Spider-Man issue number uh, 17, the second appearance of the Green Goblin at this same uh, auction house. So very happy about that. So uh, go check all that out. You never know what you'll find. And uh, once again, this is Bryant with I Have Comic Issues, and I hope you do too.